The UCS icon. The UCS icon is known as the user coordinate system. That can be found here at the bottom left corner of your drawing area. As you can see we have an X and a Y. And these are the typical coordinate systems that you're used to in the Cartesian mode of X, Y, and then there's a Z that we currently cannot see. Now we can go ahead and change that. That can be found in the view tab and under the coordinates palette but we can't see that right now so let's go ahead and right click on the tab show panels and we'll select coordinates and as you can see now we have tools to edit the coordinates and the way it look let's go ahead and select show UCS icon as you can see nothing really changed just yet but as I hold the middle mouse button down and drag the UCS icon moves and this red and blue line here establish where the origin used to be. So if I move over this way and a little bit more up to the top right, the UCS icon follows me. The default setting that we had before was a show UCS icon at the origin. If I select that, nothing really happens. But as I move down and go back towards the origin, you can see now the UCS icon is in the center of the screen when before we had it at the bottom left corner. We can also change the color of the UCS icon. You can right click and get the same settings as from in here. We'll go ahead and click properties this time. And now we can make all these changes to the UCS icon. We can change the style, the size, the color, and we can also adjust the layout tab icon color when we go to paper space later. Here's layout one and here's layout two. Right now let's uncheck this apply single color. And as you can see in this preview, the X, the Y, and the Z now have a color and are not simply white. I'll go ahead and click OK. And our UCS icon has changed color. You can go ahead and adjust the UCS icon to whatever suits you best. Later we'll learn some techniques about how to rotate the coordinate system so that we can draw geometry a little bit faster.